Day five of the build. It's been hard. It's been fun. It's been uh, a lot more challenging, I think, than most of us realized or expected. Um, so let's give you a look at where we are. We're pretty much up at six foot tall, all the way around. Mr. Wang is very, very happy with his house. He's all happy. And he'll be moving in a month early, which is really good news because we worked so hard. He is going to be moving in in May as opposed to June, which is great news for Mr. Wang and his family. So it's probably a good idea to take a wander around and uh, maybe get some thoughts from the rest of the guys on how they felt about the trip. Maybe some takeaways from the whole experience. So what have you learned, Jerry, on this experience? What do you take home with you? That the unknown is really, really cool. Right here. No, right here. That's it. Candice. I've learned the true value of teamwork and what it really means to make a difference to someone's life. I've learned that no matter where you are, no matter what language you speak, we're all one big community. Just going to interrupt you while you're picking a half a brick. What have you learned? <laughs> what I learned that it's worth it to, to risk it because you can be surprised in a very positive way. And I think I just was, so <laughs> I recommend it. Cool. <laughs> Peggy, what have you learned? What do you take away with you? That a smile and a shrug can go a long way. <laughs> Tyler. I've learned to be more patient. That's something I'll take with me back to the States when I go back to work and back to the office. I'm going to interrupt you. What have you learnt? What do you take away with you? <coughs> that people care about the same things everywhere. Arno, what have you learnt? What do you take away with you? Well, a um, couple things. One is you cannot, you can learn what you can imagine, but you cannot know what you don't know. And so before I got here, I thought I knew a lot about China and I knew absolutely nothing. I just knew stuff that I've heard, but no, nothing that ever anyone experienced. And um, I just learned a really lot about how a whole country can be so different, people can be so different, and how much difference I can make. And, uh, and I learned how to lay bricks, which feels really good, uh, because it helps someone to have a home, which is stable, safe, solid. So, really good learning I had. Alex, what have you learned? What the truly important things are in life. What do you take away with you? That I can do hard things. Answered, uh, the question. Melissa, what have you learned? What do you take away with you? Well, you know, I always thought that I was sort of a spectator in life, but I've discovered that I'm kind of a spectacle. <laughs> Um, not to get too sappy, but that people can do great things. None of us knew how to build a house, knew how to do anything, and look around us, there's walls up, and someone's going to live here, and it's amazing. Chan, what have you learned leading this merry, merry group of crazies around for the last five days? It's hard, but um, I've learned that when you get a good group of people together that exemplify teamwork, camaraderie, passion for the for the cause, it's hard to say goodbye. So that's what I've learned. It's hard say goodbye. To say goodbye. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Conversation. The moment you do it, you'll be. Oh wait, here we go. What have you learned? I've learned that you can be really happy with not a whole lot. I remember. Scotty. Yeah. What have you learned? You've done this many times. What have you learned from this group? Well, I think like a, for me, 
Well, you see, like, uh, in the first couple of days, like, uh, you guys are new on everything. But after, I mean, the third day, I should say, everybody is like, uh, perfect. I've been talking to the Mason a couple of times, like, how do you feel? I say, they're learning fast, you know? So everything's like, uh, for me, attitude is everything. It doesn't matter what like, you can or you cannot. The thing is like, uh, you're eager to learn. You can make it, you know? It's all about like, um, making the world a better place. You guys are cool. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I just saw. Uh,感谢一辈的团队的,来自各个国家的,呃,先生和女士们来帮助咱们中国这个偏僻的山村的穷苦人民修建房屋,而且来大家对通过这几天的生活和工作,对中国这个农村地区来有更多的了解。First of all, he's really appreciative of you guys, I mean, the eBay company, to have the volunteers from all over the world to come to Sichuan, China, to help the people in need. And uh, look at that, you guys did a great job in a couple of days. And on the other side, is like a, to have you guys to really understand the culture, the people here in China, and uh, at the same time, to have the local people to know about you guys. Mm. So this is like a cultural exchange. Yeah. So he hopes if he can have uh, more people coming to China in the future, that'd be great. You know? Yeah. Thanks, Thank you, Scotty. No problem. That's nice. Yeah. Which leaves me. What have I learned? I've learned to be humble. I've learned to open my senses again and let the world in. And I think just realize that everybody has the potential within them to do something amazing. And it's, it's just a matter of the doing. We've been lucky enough, we've had the opportunity to do this. But every one of us can make a difference. We just have to choose to.